The last of our four main tools is called Combine. Combine is interesting because it does two main functions. A lot of people refer to them as Boolean operations. The two main things it does is merge two things together or cut something away from one another. People look at the name Combine and don't realize that it does both of these things. Notice in the tooltip it says Merge or Split Objects. Let's hit the F1 key for more help and take a deeper dive. You'll notice in the very first sentence it explains why the Combine tool is named Combine. It's used to make combinations of objects. This means it can be used on solids, planes, surfaces, any number of things you can merge together or cut apart. And let's look at the two main workflows. So by default, it's set to split objects. What that means is it has a target object, we will cut something away from it, and then it will allow you to remove these regions. Remove the main region or remove the smaller region. In addition to this, it will allow you to merge solids together. Basically having the main target object and merging something into that object to form one new combined solid. You'll notice me mentioning the target object as we go through. Now, let's take a look at the part on screen. Here you'll notice we have five solids. One, two, three, four, five. And in the structure tree, you'll notice we have the front support, which are these two solids, and the back support, which is the green and the pink solid. Let's look at combine. You'll notice the tool guides in the combine tool walk you through the tool. And the first thing it's looking for is a target object. Now the first thing we'll be doing in the combine tool is merging two parts together. So for this, I want to merge the green part with the purple one. The target object is going to be what things are merged into. Let me pick the purple part first. That is now the target part, and I have two different options. Notice I can cut something away from it, or I can merge something into it. You'll notice that if I wanted to cut something away from it, like this green part, I would have to have an overlap, which I have in this section. If I want to combine with merging them together, I would choose the Merge option, click the green part, now the green part has been merged into the purple one, and we have one new solid in the structure tree. Let me click in white space and start again. In the second example, you'll notice they're not overlapping. They're touching on this single face. If I'm merging two parts together, that's fine. They can be overlapping or they can be touching on a single face in order to merge them together into one body. However, they do have to be in contact. If something doesn't merge together, it might be due to the fact that two, two solids or two bodies aren't touching each other or overlapping. Now let's combine. Let's say I want to merge something into the orange part. That means the orange part has to be the target of these two solids that are here. So we'll pick the first target object. Remember, we don't want to cut away, which is the default option, we want to choose Merge. Next, we'll select the blue part to merge that into the orange object. And again, like most of our tools in SpaceClaim, it's still looking for more things to merge. If I pick this bottom solid in the other component, notice even though it's in a separate component, it merges into this single part. But I don't want to do that, so I'll undo with Control-Z or go to the quick access toolbar and simply have this one single part. Now let's look at the second main function of combine and that's going to be to cut things away. Let's turn on the original part. You'll notice it's actually intersecting these other two bodies. And so what I want to do is I want to cut these bodies with the part. So remember, what's important when we're using the Combine tool is that we choose the target appropriately. Whatever the target I choose, I'm going to merge things into that or cut things away from that. 
So if I want to trim the purple part and cut away material so it fits nicely along the blue one, the purple part would be my target. Remember, we can choose to cut or to merge, but it's set to cut by default, so I don't need to click anything additional. Simply clicking the blue part will allow me to cut that purple one into different sections. If we hide that original solid in the structure tree, you'll notice it's been cut into these multiple sections. And if I click on either one of them, it splits that and deletes it. Because we're at the fourth tool guide, we have again, select target, cut and merge, and the last one of remove region removes a region from that model. So now we have the overlap of these parts and they fit perfectly together if I turn back on that original part. Now let's look at the same thing again one more time on the other side. I'm going to choose the part that I want to remove material from. So my target will be the orange part. I'm going to remove material with the blue one and choose this as my cutter. Notice it's set to cut by default. And notice if I hide the original part, we can see it better that I have these multiple regions. And you'll notice in the structure tree that front support's been cut into three different pieces. Now, it's important that you remove the regions you want because if you click in white space or switch to the select tool, you still have three solids, but they're always going to be on your screen. If this happens because you forgot to click on them when they were red to remove them, you can always right click and delete them to remove them after the fact. So if you forget to delete them and remove the regions in the combine tool, you can always right click and delete those solids later on. So one more operation while we're in the combine tool is to speed things up with box select. I've included in this part some bolts. If I go to the combine tool, I can cut with these bolts and cut all of these pieces at the same time. You can remember, I can choose this by choosing a target like this purple piece. But if I want to choose to cut the bottom plate and our front support on the other side, I can make this tool guide sticky and select another target of the table. It's still sticky, so I'll choose another part over here. Now I'm ready to choose my cutters. I'll select my cutter and simply box select to grab multiple cutters. Box selecting and combine makes removing material or merging multiple parts together a lot faster. Once I've cut all these sections, you can see how all of these pieces have multiple solids with them in the front support, in the main table, and in the back support. By going to our Remove Region tool, I'm going to hide the bolts as well so we can see these sections better, you can see all of these small pieces that have been cut out of all these solids. Now to remove these regions, there's two main ways. Click to remove, click to remove, click, click, or we can use box select again. Remember, by drawing a box around those solids we want to get rid of, it will remove just those sections. Or I can make a larger box to get rid of all of them. Again, this is a fast way for cutting solids multiple solids at the same time with multiple cutters. So I hope you've seen different ways we can use combine to both merge solids together and cut them apart and also notice some of the faster ways we can do that by selecting multiple targets and box selecting. Thank you very much for watching.